Alright guys, we're back with another War Tycoon video, so the B-29 just came out like half an hour ago and I already got it. And it's a pretty easy task, you just gotta capture the point for 1800 seconds. Kinda easy to do if you're in a private server, that might be a different story in a public server. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe and turn on that notifications. And also leave a comment, I like reading lows. And I am also going to be doing a giveaway at 5,000 subs, so... Yeah, if you guys do want to join in on the giveaway, it's going to be my Discord server, and I'm going to run it as soon as we reach 5,000 subs. Alright yeah, guys, let's go check out this uh, new update. Alright, so this new update, of course there's the B-29, there's also the friend boosts, and we also got... New skin and the uh, new gun, the Remington ACR, pretty cool gun. You know, definitely did play around this gun when I was playing Modern Warfare 2. You know, the original one from 2009. That's a pretty cool gun. Um, I did unlock a few attachments and yeah, it's not that terrible. Like recoil is pretty low. Oh, this whole graphic side, I don't really like it. Is this the... Ooh, okay, they changed the hollow sight. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really like the new sight here, because earlier, when I was playing with them, they were the green reticle. And this one, red one, I don't really like it. I guess I might just switch the sights for these. Uh, wait, is this one different? Okay, I kind of like it when the reticle is smaller, even though there's this massive... Yeah, there's that massive, uh, magnifier in the way. Uh, I'm still not going to prefer that, so we're just going to switch those. Alright, I guess we'll go with the point. Yeah, I like the site more. So, I did get a few kills with this, or definitely more than a few, but uh, yeah, it's not that bad for recoil, like, there's mostly horizontal recoil, but that's usually for most of the guns I shoot in this game, uh, recoil is pretty e easy to handle, which I like about this, and yeah, I, I didn't go over, but it's pretty easy to get this with five friends. Like, you have to, like, invite them. Like, it's not them just joining you. Like, get to, like, invite them, click invite, and then they have to join you in order for it to count. And I, I think it has to be different accounts, too. So, it can't be you inviting the same friend, like, five times. Like, you could also do it with, like, five different alt accounts, which that works. Uh, I guess, but that's... With enough said, let's go check out the B-29 Super Fortress. Ooh, okay. Oh, so you spawn it from here. Okay. Oh, okay. You have 12 bombs and you can d also disable the guns. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Wait. I'm not sure how you can get a... Uh... I'm not sure if you can uh, invite friends into here. So, let's try to land this thing. This thing... Looks a little tricky to land. Ooh, okay, so you can land this thing. Okay. Seems like the tricky part is finding a place to land this plane. Okay, so you can go in here, Gunner. Go 
Oh, okay, so... Alright, all you need is one friend in here, and they can man the guns, and... And also, I think since these are AI-controlled too, you don't need someone in there, but it's nice if you can. But it seems like it's a tedious process to try to... Yeah, to try to land the sling and get someone to pop in, because, like, taking off is probably also going to be annoying. So, I'll test this out on my alt account and see how it's like. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, well, taking off in that thing, not very easy. Let's go test this out on my alt account. Alright, so my alt account is right here. Oh, okay, so... Oh, so we'll just uh, attack any player nearby. So, like, right now I'm not even doing anything. It's just, it's just the AI turrets that are... Attacking this. So, I guess this thing could replace a AC-130. Oh, I'm gonna try to drop some bombs. Let's see how much damage it does. Okay, so you can just hold down the click and it will... It will just drop bombs. Alright, it does have a bit of a slow reload for this. Actually, I'll see if it has a big enough blast radius to do damage to my ult. Like, I'm, a, I'm not gonna even attack the CRM. But damn, the, the reload speed on this is pretty bad. Alright. Oh, please don't stall, game. Holy cr- Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, uh... Damn, this thing might be annoying to deal with. <laughs> okay, so... Right, so I'm gonna test this with, with my buddy and... S see how well this thing is. So, I guess we could test, like, bunker and... Some more stuff that I might not be remembering right now, but um, yeah, I'm gonna switch over. Ooh, okay, jumping out. Bunker hatches are closed. I am in the middle of my bunker. All right. How much damage does that do? I am two thirds of the way dead. Oh, okay, so it does significant damage. Um, both of my uh, both of my doors inside are half health. What? Doors are half health and slowly climbing. Actually, I've been climbing. All my oil rigs are completely on the own. Wow. That's, that's, Oh, really Alright, I'm gonna drop some more bombs. Uh, wait, can you- Oh wait, before I do that, can you- Can you run somewhere random in your, in your bunker without telling me where? Uh, yeah, sure. And let me know once you're in that location. Um, Alright. I'm going where everyone hides, so... Alright. Let's just drop all around and see. Okay, I did not do single damage to you. No. Uh, my oil rigs, the oil rigs themselves, are a fourth dead. Almost mm. all of them. And okay. my oils are also a fourth. My, uh, just, just my oil area is a fourth of the way dead on everything. Mm, okay. Alright, can you put your shield up and 
Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, you have to pay the windshield, right? I have the pay the windshield, I just got another one. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. Right. Oh, just the bombs! 40%? 40 40 Yeah, and since there's AI turrets on this thing, it will be also shooting at it, so... Okay, that's... Okay, this thing is decent for dealing with shields. Like, I think for a free-to-play shield, it'll definitely take it out. Right, I'm halfway through for reloading my bombs. Uh, definitely the second round would take out the shield. Yeah, I'm still at 42 percent. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna test that, but, um... Alright, can you bring in an alt account and test out like some tanks? Like, I want to see how much damage these guns do. Uh, Alright, uh, can you shoot me with the cannon once? Yeah. Oh. That did half of it. Ooh, so it's a uh, last cannon at that stage. Yeah, so if you're, uh, yeah, if you're getting camped by this thing, use a tank. Alright, uh, can you stay still? I'm gonna drop one bomb and see how much damage it does. Correct, yep. uh, impact, 50%. 50%? Ooh. 50 yeah, if you're using a tank, you gotta uh, constantly be moving. Okay, what if I, like, did it off to the side? Like, let's just say A. It's just AoE. Okay, right. okay, hopefully that did not do a direct hit. No, did nothing. Not close enough. Okay, yeah, you're in the, my green radius, so. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, what if I did it a little closer? Uh, 6%. 6 per okay, yeah, so you do need a land of direct hit to do the damage. Alright, uh... Alright, let's test it against the mouse tank now. Alright, I'm, I'm moving as slow as possible. Oh, oh. I just turned off the AI turrets. Yeah, sorry. Um... Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the first shot did uh, brought me down to thirty-five percent. All right. Oh yeah. I also forgot to mention that in the video that it takes. Two parts for that, two parts for that, and one part of that. So it does eat up parts. Um, oh, so it just it spawns like a normal jet? No, it does not. You spawn above your base and... And, uh, you just fly over it. it is all right, I um, it really depends. Yeah, because like if you that's if you can't make it to the playing garage. I mean, if you need a vehicle and you're already there, there's uh, a new, yeah. yeah. Like if you just pick somewhere random. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that. Yeah, if I think uh, the green bubble does last long enough for you to get to this, but uh, like. Like, this thing is probably easy to take out. Okay, hide somewhere that isn't directly in the middle of that building. Let's see how... You still want in the middle area? Yeah, just don't be in the middle area. Like, just run around. Alright. Up. Nothing. 
No damage? Are you on the first floor? I'm on the second floor. Second floor. Ooh, okay. Alright, let's see if I can't if I can do damage to you when you're on the second floor. Or those close? That one's pretty close, I was. But I know you got no damage. I don't know if I'm standing even closer now. Get that same right I think I completely I missed. Were, those were really close to me in terms of AOA. I did no damage. I guess this thing would work uh, for. stepping out players in the capture point area. That, like, you need to have a good amount of skills for. For that, like being able to kill them, because this thing, yeah, I tried several times, and uh, it didn't really work for me. And I'm not gonna use up more of the video just to do that. Huh? How much damage does this game do? All right, let's see. Eight percent. And where are you? At? Wait, how well? Uh, wait, how good is the AI for the? Yeah, they're, they're on it. They're just not getting How much damage do they do? They did about five percent. What if I just leave it on? Three percent. Well, five. Hmm, okay, I just disabled it. Yeah, I I'll get to deal with Yeah, if you have this thing above you, you could probably use a ride shield. But, like, getting away from this thing might be a different story. Because, like, this thing, it will shoot at you no matter what. Like, as, as long as it's close to you, it will shoot at you. Like, you could be in a building, or in your bunker, and it'll probably still shoot at you. And, like, where the shots hit usually will give a hint of where they're at. Like, it still probably takes skills to drop the bombs that, like, you could probably... Yeah, you could probably take out players easily with this thing, if you learn it well. I guess to conclude this video, this thing, this thing is pretty decent as a tool for to figure out what where players are at. Just so you don't need to have a body just in the bunker, just re constantly refreshing the uh, the what's it called the map. I mean, if you need to know where multiple players are, then. That map would probably be useful, uh, like, if you just need to figure out where one player's at, then this thing would work. Like, if someone's at mid, just have this thing, uh, and, uh, yeah, it probably would work if you're good at callouts as well. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Like, this thing, it's, it's kind of easy to get, like, you gotta, uh, Hold middle for 30 minutes. But, uh, yeah. Just gonna end it here. <laughs>